In this video, we're going to be looking at a Canadian youth that burns the Bible and how that relates to Jeremiah 36. In this video clip that I'm going to show you, we see a clip of a young man who is burning a New Testament and then later him and another person shred these New Testament Bibles. Now, I know the creator of this video is more concerned with the fire ban that's going on in Alberta, Canada, than the actual shredding of the Bible. But more importantly, we see how many people in our culture view the Word of God, the Bible. They burn it and tear it to shreds. Now, this actually could be considered a hate crime in Canada and the United States. But we'll leave it as it is. Here's the clip. Let's see what they do. Liberals burn Bible during a fire ban in Calgary and get caught. That's not cool. That's not very nice. I think there's a fire ban right now. This clip reminded me of Jeremiah 36. When the prophet wrote Jeremiah 36, it was during the reign of Jehoiakim. And Jehoiakim's reign is recorded in 2 Chronicles 36, verses 5 to 8, and 2 Kings 23, 37. Jehoiakim did evil in the eyes of the Lord. That's what Chronicles and Kings says about this king, Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim is actually sent to Babylon, and the vessels of the temple are sent to Babylon as well. During the reign of Jehoiakim was a time of extreme rebellion against the Lord in the life of Israel. Well, let's go to Jeremiah 36. In verses 2 to 3, the word of the Lord comes to Jeremiah. He's commanded by God to write upon a scroll a message that is to be proclaimed to the people of God. Basically, the Lord has words against Israel. The Lord intends to bring disaster against Israel. And the call is that they turn from their evil ways. The king and all of Israel turn from their evil ways so that the Lord would forgive their iniquity and sin. In Jeremiah 36 verses 4 to 8, Jeremiah is not able to deliver this message because he's been banned from the house of the Lord. We don't really know why he is banned from the house of the Lord, but we probably can deduce that he was banned because of his faithful preaching of the Lord. We already know that King Jehoiakim already killed the prophet Uriah, who preached the word of the Lord. We see that in Jeremiah 26, verse 20 to 23, Uriah brings a word of the Lord and he is executed for faithfully proclaiming the word of the Lord. In Jeremiah 36, 20 to 26, this scroll that Jeremiah has written has been brought to the king and the officials. They seem to be somewhat concerned about it because it was brought to the king. Jehudi reads from the scroll to the king. But the king disregards the word of God and this scroll, and the scroll is cut and burned. And this reveals that King Jehoiakim shows extreme disrespect to the word of God. In Jeremiah 36 verse 24, it says that the king did not fear the Lord. And he did not respond to God's message of judgment upon the land. And in Jeremiah 36, 26, the king wishes to seize Baruch and Jeremiah, but the Lord hides them. They are given provision from the Lord and safety from the Lord. 
In Jeremiah 36, 29-31, the Lord pronounces judgment upon Jehoiakim. He will be punished, and none of his offspring will be on the throne. The story in, found in Jeremiah 36 speaks to us about the danger of rejecting God's word to us. Also the danger of hardening our hearts towards the Lord. Today, do not harden your heart to God's word you. Do not harden your heart to the Lord himself and the message that he has given each one of us in the Bible. Treat the word of God seriously. I was shocked to see someone actually shredding a Bible in Canada. This is where our country is gone, where we disrespect God, the God who made each one of us, the God who as well loves us and gave us his only son. So let's respect God's word as believers. And if you're outside of Jesus Christ, hear the word of the Lord and do not disrespect God's word. Thanks for watching and God bless.